This is video number 554. You give love a bad name. I know, first of all, let's just start there, that God does not need us to defend His name. He can do it all on His own, defend and protect His name, but this video is more a classical example of me pouring my heart out to God. I recently heard this story from somebody posing as a perfect head boy kind of Christian. He preaches to everyone. You know all the cliches, walking around with the Bible underneath his arm. Using his Bible as a rod, says praise God about 2,000 times per day, but his action does not follow his verbal diarrhea, causing everybody around him to dislike our faith. This is how I see Christianity. Church is not a museum for saints, but a hospital for sinners. We are not perfect yet. I say I believe in God and I trust in God. It is purely because I daily come to the realization that I'm only human after all. Like Paul said, I, he is the chief sinner. The more I work, walk closer to God, the more I realize how human, how filled with mistakes I truly am. I need Him even more and more daily. Sometimes it is because I've blurted out something hurtful to a princess and I feel guilty. So I ask him, please let you forget what I said. Please heal her if I did offend her. I realize more and more that I'm not the savior of the world. I cannot help everyone. Only he can help everyone. Then I pray more and more, touch this person or that person. I just become more and more dependent on him. Instead of more holier than thou, I preach, preach less and less to people. I condemn people less daily as I realize that I do not have the big that I do have the big stalk in my own eye. I have more mistakes than my fellow princesses. This is pouring out my heart to God to say that I love God more daily because I realize daily that I have more and more shortcomings and he is more and more perfect. Even after walking with him intimately for almost 5 years now, even if I'm standing in full-time ministry for three years now, I only realize more and more that rejection still hurts for a brief period. I still throw a pity party for one. For a brief period when somebody has harmed me, I still hope that the earth will open up and swallow them up. I still get times when I wake up the next morning that knowing that I drank too much wine. I'm only human after all, but I still love God more daily. I still sometimes feel that I've made my new boyfriend my idol and my king. Then I repent. Walking with God is not a Cinderella fairy god mother transformation from slave to princess in seconds. No, it's a journey. It takes time. But I'm also grateful for every single day God shows me His glory. Just like Moses prayed on the mountain, show me your glory, I pray this daily. On the same day I heard about the empty tap Christian, I see people operating in the religious spirit as empty showcase taps. Even the prettiest ones, the most expensive ones in CTM, when you open up the tap, no water will come out. Versus a true believer and beloved of God being a true tap. Even if you open up a dirty, ugly tap in the middle of Haman Scroll, international subscribers, Haman Scroll is one of the local communities in South Africa, most well known for the extreme poverty and rural conditions. Most houses do not have running water or electricity, compared to the slums in India. But even if you open up one of the worst taps in Haman Scroll, you will still have water. This is how I see the difference between the true believers, the ones that are promised to be revealed in Romans 8, versus the ones operating in the religious spirit. The next video will follow soon on You Give Love a Bad Name.